Cue the music. It's me, Gary, and Nick. How we doing? Uh, back from uh, Bill is back from the uh, world famous Baltimore Comic Con, um, so we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Also, the previews this week. But before we get started, we'd like to pass Bill's books condolences on to Mike Savine, whose daughter passed away suddenly uh, last week. Mike Savine, of course, is the the mastermind behind Akron Comic Con and Monster Fest Mania, uh, part of the Bill's books family. So we hope uh, he uh, understands that we offer our most sincere condolences. Definitely. So uh, after that bummer, let's get on to the comic books, shall we? Um, Angel Catbird. I don't know what that is. A lot of talk on that one. Looks pretty though, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Secret Wars trade paperback. Shh. Don't tell nobody. Jonathan Hickman. Uh, Batman by Snyder and Capullo. Look at that. Hardcover. Slipcase. All the whole thing. The whole nice. Megilla. The whole shooting match. Star Wars Attack of the Clones. It's a little uh, prequel uh, adaptation action, I think. A and A. A A. A A. Archer and Armstrong. I was gonna say. I know. Yeah. Alters. The that's the transgender superhero from uh, AfterShock. How about that? By Paul Jenkins. Aquaman. I feel like Aquaman stock is gonna be rising once the Justice League movie comes out. I feel oh. like. Uh, all new, all different Avengers, number 14. Everyone's going to come into Aquaman and, and ask, why is Aquaman blonde, blue-eyed, when in the movie he was yeah, a gigantic Samoan? Right, right. I don't get it. Batman, or else we'll get the uh, Gene Wilder effect where everybody... Oh, that's such a big fan. Oh, I've oh, been... I've oh. been a fan since day one. Oh, yeah, I don't see it on your pull list. Anyway, Ever After? It's, uh, taking, that's just the Fables world. Yeah, yeah, that's an offshoot from the Fables book. The late lamented Fables book, Earn, Evil Ernie, God Eater. Look at that Frazetta homage. The Flintstones. The Flintstones. They're a modern Stone Age family. Hey. Glitter Bomb. Jim Zub. And Alanis Morissette. No, I don't think that's. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> That'd be flying off. Jagged the shelf. Little Pill was my 1993. <laughs> uh, empty Space. Avengers Ultron Revolution. That's the all age. Yes, the all age stuff. Max Ride. I guess if she's got wings, she would be a Max Ride. Sure. Oh. oh. Mayhem and Magic. That's beneath me. She. That's what she's. Oh. oh. Uh, Kieran Gillen's Mercury Heat. Uh, I'm very excited. Midnight of the Soul by Howard Chaikin coming up this month. Two in weeks. a few weeks. Uh, Canton uh, Hall of Fame City Comic Con is going to have George Perez and the batshit insane Howard Chaikin. I'm going to meet Howard Chaikin finally. I'm very excited. And he has promised via Facebook Messenger to uh, do an Indiana Jones head sketch in my book. So all is right in the world. That's all that matters. Yes. I don't care about anything else. The Sheriff of Babylon. Nick when wants... Ma no. Nick, once this is done, I'm going to have to get it. I'm tired of you telling me how good it is, and I'm not reading it's it. It's oh, best no. book on the market. Two more issues. It's all it's got. They said that they might do a... The plans is to do a year two. Okay. But with King doing yeah. Batman, who knows when it's going to happen. Sure. Silk. It's like milk, but it's made with almonds. I put that in my waffles. I don't doubt it. Uh, that George, was a great book, too. George Pelicano 6. The explosive series finale. It was, it was a good book. Nice, uh, nice cardstock cover. Better than the Marvel trade paperbacks, anyway. Yeah. Joe's pick is Frank Cho's Skyboard. We're all glad to see uh, Frank Cho art back in the mix. Look at that. It, That's good stuff. It's it's phenomenal art. His and look, What's he that? draws his women fully clothed. Yeah, look, they got clothes on and everything. Here's Spidey, the all age. Well, not. I guess it's kind of all ages. It's a. Uh, Modern day retelling of Spider Man's earliest adventures. Uh, we got a Star Wars hardcover, bang bang. We got Batman Volume 9, Bloom. 
Doctor Strange and the Secret Defenders. I'm going to have to thumb through that because that was a gloriously terrible book from the 90s. Yeah. Heavy Metal Magazine. Batman Beyond. Oh, Terry McGinnis. The Beauty by Jeremy Hahn. That was a good one. And uh, Jason Hurley. Bloodlines. And it's the last issue of that. Boo. The world's <laughs> cutest dog. This is Nick's unofficial pick of the week, Boo. That, <laughs> I, I honestly think we just got way too many of those. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Bounty. The Great Divide, which is what I sometimes refer to the lady parts. I don't ever do that. I've never huh. done that. Uh, Green Arrow. That's a cool cover. Yeah. Very kung fu -y. You know how I feel about that. Empty Spot. Uh, Black Bat. Hey, well, I'm thinking about it completely off topic. I want to thank Dan Gorman and uh, Jason Miller at uh, Altered Realm Radio on Karma Internet Radio for having me on the other night. Uh, we were talking about some geek stuff. So uh, if you look on my Facebook Nerd. page, yeah. If you look on my Facebook page, I posted the episode. So uh, I'm on there the first couple hours, two and a half hours, something like that. Hardcore. Is is that part of the title? Yeah. Hardcore A can. It's the movie, the Hardcore uh, Henry. Okay. That's supposed oh, yeah. to be a prequel. Oh, I see. So it's just hardcore people. Yeah. Like Max Hardcore. Don't look up Max Hardcore on the internet. Do not look up, especially not at work. Moon Knight. Guess what I had to buy. What Moon hey, Knight? An issue of Moon Knight. Oh. Three pages of Frank of Art. Those <laughs> sons of bastards. Nail Biter. Oh, here's the book we've been looking forward to. This is Bill's Pick of the Week. Knight's Dominion by Ted Nife. Uh We're excited to check this out. I read it. And? Awesome. Awesome. His art is always a let's, solid look. Let's thumb through it. I like his style. His style is very uh, Mike Mignola-esque in a way, isn't it? Kind of. But more defined. Yeah, right, you know, right. Mignola's... Mignola's a lot of shadow work. Yeah. But his no, this is, is defined. I love his character work. And then the setup of all these different characters it has the feel of a classic dnd &D adventure where the main looks like anti-hero if you will will be the the female thief good book how you go wrong there ted knife face knight's dominion pick it up we got plenty uh nightwing and if it's any if, if kingsway west is any indication we'll, we'll blow through them this weekend too yeah ninjack look at that looks like a zombie gambit he's got a skin problem Zombit. Zombit. I just... Let's hashtag that. Don't hashtag no. anything on my behalf. That's gross. Um, Squadron Supreme. Oh, Squadron Supreme. Poe Dameron. Star Wars. Oh. Yes. Sun Bakery. I don't know why that's a comic book. I don't know. Like <laughs> an anthology type. Alright. Supergirl. Looks like some pretty good art. Good stuff. Oh, you know what? I think that's Brian Ching. Brian Ching, that's the guy that did the Conan book that I was always telling you to look at the art. That's There you go. I like it. Dennis's pick, Superman. They reintroduced the new Superboy. Superboy. This is by far my favorite uh, odd collection of pops we've ever <laughs> received in one week. We've got Dancing Ferris Bueller. We've got Dorothy, my very favorite golden girl. We've got Professor Zoom from The Flash. We've got Clytus from the yeah. uh, uh, Flash Gordon movie. I wish they had the eyeball popping one. Yeah, that'd be good too. Or as I like to call him, Clyderus. Uh, Duck Dodgers, come on. Crawl from Star Trek Beyond, isn't that Idris Elba? Or am yeah. I? Yep. Deadpool in a suit. Charlie Bucket from Willy Wonka. And Phil the Minion. Thank you for being a friend, Dorothy. Thank you for being a friend. Um, Girl Over Paris, Cirque, um, Cirque American, and I, I apologize for going through puberty right there when I said that. <clears throat> Crossed, 100. Not in the bag, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Cyborg, Rebirth. Eric's pick of the week, Daredevil. Uh, how many people are excited about the Luke Cage Netflix show coming up? Oh, it looks good. And it's got a great soundtrack. In oh, yeah. Deadpool and the Mercs for Money. Hey, Nuke is in this. Why didn't you tell me Nuke is in this? Nuke is in this. Nuke is in it. Did, did plus also... Fool Killer, plus Solo, plus Terror Incorporated. All they need is like Bengal, Bushwhacker, and D-Man. And yeah. um, I'm golden. Good, 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 good. Anyway. Did you see how they're doing... Uh, you skip a shelf, by the way. Oh, yeah. How they're doing a uh, 
they're they're titling each episode by the like yeah. the soundtrack. Yeah, right. I'm very excited about it. Harley Quinn. I didn't want to talk about any of these books. That's why I tried to skip it. But since you brought it up, indoctrination. I'm sure that's a politically charged uh, probably book. Invincible Iron Man. Whoops. Great. Now we got to discount that one. Sure. Jughead, starring Sabrina, the teenage witch. That's not the Sabrina everyone's used to right now. No. Justice League. That's the big ones from uh, DC Comics. That's uh, DC Comics uh, flagship title. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't know. Nowhere Men. That's Nick and I. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, The Ravening, which is something. That's something. It's in a bag, by the way, and also... Her, I keep putting my finger over it. I don't know whether that's Freudian or what, but I keep putting <laughs> just, my finger you're right You're trying on. to cover up her. I don't want to cover it up, but hey, these ones are all pretty bad. But ladies and gentlemen, I implore you, no, no, don't. don't. And these aren't even any of the, uh, right. the nude ones. I, I got to put that one on the bottom. Even my, <laughs> skin, even my sense of this decorum is insulted. By the... Rebel? Rebel. Rebel, Rebel. Red, is it Red One? Yeah. The big Red One? Lee Marvin? That's, uh, issue three. I mean, they've only, it's the Dodson, so it takes time, but they did, it was a while ago when the last, that issue two came, yeah. then they did the hardcover, that oversized hardcover to collect it all two, and now finally three. Yeah. And they're going to do a hardcover to collect issue three. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Revival? Speaking of the Big Red One, if you ever want to see a Sergeant Rock movie, you should watch the Big Red One with Lee Marvin and Mark Hamill. It's the closest thing you're gonna get to a Sergeant it's Rock. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's like it is a Sergeant Rock movie, like the Outlaw Josie Wales is a Jonah Hex movie. Yeah. Basically, it's the same character. It's the best you're gonna get. I just saw a messed up movie on Amazon, uh, Bone Tomahawk. Oh, I've been wanting to see that. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell, yeah. It's that's a western meets uh, The Hills Have Eyes. Nice. Uh, the sweetness? That hurts my face just to look at it. Somebody got a little meth mouth. Yeah. Who could it be? <laughs> Empty spot? Ultra cat? Sure. Magneto? I get that that's your signature. Look, Magneto, that helmet, but with the suit. Hey, man, it's after Labor Day. We got put that got put that suit away, <laughs> yeah. yo. Come on, man. Come on, Magneto. Okay, we got some Greg Capullo figures, which is always good. We got the Wonder Woman. She's very substantial. She's uh, she's very solidly built. She's very oh, thick. Kind of what you'd expect from a, a from warrior. an Amazon an Amazonian warrior. Uh, the survival Batman, survival gear Batman. That's pretty cool. I've always liked that look. Flash. Look at this. It's time to start thinking about Christmas presents for the people you love. <laughs> uh, look, Back to the Future Dorbs. There's uh, Doc and Marty. The DeLorean with the dog, I think, in it. Is this? Oh, see, it took me a while to remember the dog. That's Einstein. Yeah, yeah Einstein. I must be Einstein. Dog. Sure, but uh, yeah, it's time to start thinking about Christmas presents for the nerds in your life. Whatever. Nick doesn't like Christmas, except oh, for like Nick Christmas. will turn Christmas music on in the middle of April. Dishonored. So I like Christmas. I do too. I just don't like the people you have to talk to at Christmas. Doctor Strange, I like getting stuff. Don't let them fool you. It's better to receive than give. Don't let them fool you. Doctor Who, they just tell you that so they don't have to get you nothing. Yeah. Eclipse, Elasticator, I like this book. Elasticator is good. It's kind of like a uh, teenage uh, R-rated plastic man. Nice. Yeah. Kill or Be Killed, that's my pick of the week. Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips, Elizabeth Brightweiser. How are you going to go wrong with that that group? I don't think you are. You're not. You're not going to go wrong. That's how. Kim and Kim from Black Mask. And I, I hate Or transgender uh, bounty, you know, yeah. galactic bounty hunters. But here's a... It, it gets such acclaim online, but apparently no one in Canton, Ohio wants it. Yeah. I, well, I, was, I mean, we stock it, but after a certain point, if no one comes in looking for it, that's... Yeah, right. You know, we got shelf space that we yeah, got to... because we got to buy Kulapari. Yeah. Legend. Look at the there's dogs. I like books with dogs. I like when there are dogs. Some some. I hate that stuff. I don't know what it is. 
Rise of the Black Flame. I'm looking at you, RuPaul. Rochelle, the teenage cockroach. What? I don't know. Empty spot. Sex in a bag. Which I think was a song by Tribe Called Quest. No, that was Hot Sex on a Platter. YouTube it, kids. It's, Good important, stuff. it's important to know your hip hop history. It's important. If you don't know Tribe Called Quest, then don't. Then get out. Then get don't out. say you like hip hop. Yeah, right. Tribe Called Quest. The Shadow, The Death of Margot Lane. I mean, we're two whitest of the white dudes, and we know Tribe Called Quest, and we know to respect that. Yeah. The Boulevard of Linden. Walking Dead, The Whisperer War. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> and something else in a bag, Widow Progeny. Well, that Mike Wolfer, he likes to draw hoo-hoos hanging out everywhere. Hanging out? <laughs> then they turn into hairy spiders. Ah! <laughs> Okay, that's it for the new comics. I don't see anything on no, the counter over there. on the counter. Not on the coffee. counter this week. Yeah, except his coffee. So we'll be back in a minute, and we will do the previews for you. Previews. Previews. Oh, yeah. What are you going to buy? What are you going to buy? Oh, I'm dizzy now. Hey, YouTubers. We're back. This is Gary and Nick, and we're about to show you the previews. Yeah, that was Nick. Um, smartest thing he said all day. Um... We're going to get to the previews in a second, but first I want to show you, I forgot, I got a Buckaroo Bonsai t-shirt today. Bonsai Institute. Dead. That's right, I kids. Mean, you know what would be cooler? What? Is if you had a picture with Peter Weller. I do, by the way. <laughs> Just because you have one, don't mean I don't have one. Well, I don't like that you have one, but I got one too. Sorry. Right. I promised myself I wouldn't get emotional about it. Uh, let's go through the Marvel one first. Look, Iron Man number one. Uh, featuring the new Iron Iron Heart. Iron Heart, not the soft core Japanese parody porn no, Iron Heart. No, no, this is actually uh, Riri. I don't know Riri Williams yes. is her name. Rihanna. I don't know. Um, we've also got Amazing Spider-Man: Renew Your Vows number one, which I highlighted because our good friend Jerry Conway is the writer, uh, very, and Ryan Stegman is on art, which is good. And see, some people are afraid that this is taking the place of Amazing Spider-Man. I don't believe that's the case. Yeah, it's I, just following that group from the Secret Wars. Yes, so there you go. So there's that. Um, also, Fool Killer number one. I'm very excited about Fool Killer number one. I like Fool Killer. So It's a great Yeah. Dave Johnson. Dave Johnson is always good. Always good. Uh, we've also got, uh, look at this, Captain America, Sam Wilson number 15. D-Man goes wild. Remember a little while ago I was talking about how much I like D-Man. Boom. Boom. There he is. And he's not smelly and he's not homeless. He's a badass with a beard. A beard hey, there was one that I would have probably highlighted. What's that? If you wanted a Spider Man Deadpool oh, yeah. to get, maybe the one written by Penn Gillette is yeah. a good one to jump on. Yeah, Penn Gillette. That'd be good. Yeah. Um, look at this Master of Kung Fu Omnibus Volume 3. Mm. Mm. For those of you who are cool. Only, you. only, nobody else yeah. can get one. Don't hop on that bandwagon. Don't hop on that bandwagon. We also have this, Heroes for Hire, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and the Heroes for Hire, Volume 1 trade paperback, reprinting the 90s series, which I uh, uh, remember getting very... Yeah, everyone with the pop collar. Yeah, everybody had the pop collar and the, you know, the whole thing. And so the, the, on, uh, let's, let's just say that the human body actually can't form that way. Sure, sure, yeah, the, the anatomically impossible... But I'm very excited about it, so we got that. There's a bunch of number ones in here, so you should definitely check this out. I didn't want to go through all of them. I just want to go through the ones that I like. It's not like they haven't been on CBR, Newsarama. Bleeding Cool. Yeah. The whole Schlemiel, Schlemazel. Awesome Pepper Incorporated. Uh, this looks pretty good. Forbidden Brides of the Faceless Slaves in the Secret House of the Night of Dread Desire by Neil <laughs> Gaiman and Shane Oakley. It's an homage to, uh, it's a celebrated send-up of gothic literature. So, it's, I don't know whether it's jokey or what, but it looks... That, uh, it, it's that's the a mouthful. It's the, yeah. It's a novel, it's, isn't it? It's the best, I don't know. It, uh, it says hardcover, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, well, it says hard. Art. Yeah, so um, it is going to be a, a book, a comic book, but it, uh, it I, the, the name alone was what drew me to it. So, we've got that. We've also got uh, Dead Man, Kelly Jones Gallery Edition hardcover for Kelly Jones fans. Yeah, like... I like Dead Man. Yeah, Dead Man's good. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Harley Quinn statue, how do you feel about that? Just, you know, people like those. Designed by Jim Lee. Here's also some more stuff. Look at that, Amanda Connor Starfire statue. Yeah. Holy crap, holy crap sticks. Uh, let's see what else we have here. 
Optimus Prime number one and Mask number one. I loved Mask when I was a kid. I did too. So I'm very excited about that. Um, let's see what else we got here. Jack Kirby's Fantastic Four Artist Edition. If any of you have ever heard of Jack Kirby or Fantastic Four, I don't know if you have or not, but if you have, this might be something that you could be... Uh, you might want to be, uh, you know, yeah. inquire about. Yeah, that might be something that you might want to get because uh, Jack Kirby was not bad. AD After Death. This is by Scott Snyder and Jeff Lemire. So it, that's the gem of, people, of the month. Yeah. A lot of people have been... This has been pushed back a couple times. So so you should definitely check that out. Uh, image is killing me this month because I, uh, I had to mark about nine pages in Images section. Frontier number one um, by Jonathan Hickman. Who's always a Which means don't give yourself don't, enough time so you can look at yeah. every tiny panel and everything. Right. And also you will get a nosebleed trying to figure it mm -hmm. out. So uh, May Day, number one, by Alex DeCampi, who did Grindhouse. Nice. We love her. So May Day is something you should check out. I'm very excited about this, Violent Love, by Frank Barbieri from Five Ghosts. Victor Santos. I love Victor Santos. The yeah. Book, uh, Polar. And uh, Dylan Todd, my buddy Dylan Todd from Las Vegas, is uh, doing some work there. So uh, definitely check that out. It's like uh, Badlands. It's like Natural Born Killers. It's like Bonnie and Clyde. What else do you need to know? Look at that. Very Darwin Cooky art, Cook esque. Nice stuff. Yeah, it's not Darwin Cook, but yeah. Chew number sixty, final issue. I thought I'd uh, mention that final issue of Chew. Good for them. Yeah. Good for them. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, next uh, is just the last. Oh, it's supposed to be the the final final story arc. Of, yeah, the of story arc. Peter Panzerfaust. Peter Panzerfaust. Peter Panzerfaust. It's been so long since I said that. Yeah. Um, this I, I highlighted because there was a lot of cool uh, merchandise on this page, like the Assassin's Creed Blade and the uh, Deluxe Spawn figure and this Outcast TV figure, which looks pretty cool. Here's a bunch of the stuff that you might have overpaid for on the internet right after San Diego that you can now get for just a little above original retail. Sure. So. You got jobbed. Um, here's a t-shirt that says take it like a champ, which would be good in any situation. Oh, yeah. And here's a t-shirt that says high as fuck, quite frankly. Um, so that would be, don't wear it to a job interview, I'm no. guessing, but other than that, you should be okay. Saga action figures. Those are cool. Yeah. Negan Bat. There's a lot going on on this page, so I thought I'd drop a little card on this so you can take a look at it. Look at this classic Spider-Man PVC diorama statue type thing. Nice tight little hiney on him. Good for him. He works out. Yeah. Uh, look at this. Hammer Comics. Hammer Horror Movies. My fa Some of my favorite horror movies uh, are coming out. With, uh, yeah, it's like focus on your hand. Oh, uh, are coming out with The Mummy. They're coming out with comic books now. And uh, the first one is The Mummy. So we're very excited about Hammer uh, films going into the comic book business. And then... Oh, wait. What? We're also super excited about... We're super excited about something. Motor, Motor Girl. Girl. Terry new, Moore. New series from Terry Moore. People, yes. make sure you get your orders in early because, and constantly pre order because that's the thing he ran in. He almost ended Rachel Rising early because the numbers were low because people loved it, but they weren't ordering it. And if you don't tell your bookstore you want it, you they're not going to order it. That's right. Um, and uh, Harambe would want you to buy this book. So I mean, look, he said buy yeah. her comic. And that's Harambe. It's not really, but. But I'm, I would be okay with it if it was. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, this uh, from Boundless Comics. It's a real thing with them, as we were showing you earlier in, in the other covers. Crotch shot covers. They're point of view covers. They're uh, crotch selfies is what they are. Yeah. yeah so um, I highlighted this because I'm glad Caliber Comics is back. They did some of the coolest stuff back in the 90s. They're back in the uh, saddle doing uh, doing comic books, the black and white uh, alternative comic books, Sherlock Holmes, Lovecraft stuff, Squalor, Boy Zero. So, so check out Caliber Comics. Support them, please, because I said so. Uh, Grand Passion, number one, it's kind of funny. I put this on my pull list about, what, three years ago? Yeah. When they announced it at like a, uh, an Image Expo, and now it's not going to be from Image. I don't even know if it's the same one, hopefully. But uh, Grand Passion, number one, it's uh, Harlequin Romance meets Hard Boiled Crime. So, and it's by James Robinson and Tom Pleister. So, you can't go wrong there. Here's a little uh, preview of it. So, Grand Passion. 
I'm excited for it. Also excited for Flash Gordon King's Cross number one. The King stuff that they're doing from Dynamite uh, with the Phantom and Flash Gordon and all those guys is really good. So you should check that out. Uh, this is a sweet, sweet Red Sonia bust by Arthur Adams. Nice. Arthur Adams, guys. He's, what he's else? got some he's credentials. Dead? Yeah, he's all right. He's okay if you like that kind of thing. Let's see what else here. Let's see what else we got here. There's the money again. Yeah, it's coming from Titan. So you make sure you, you have to pre-order that stuff because there won't be a lot of reorders. Right. Uh, I'm also very excited for this uh, from Valiant Savage. Uh, it's going to be uh, by one of my favorite uh, authors or comic book writers, B. Clay Moore, who does Hawaiian Dick. Um, and Clayton Henry and Louis LaRosa. It looks very good. It's dinosaurs and a little savage. It's, it's basically... It's taking the place. They did Divinity in place of Dr. Solar. Yeah. This is taking the place of Turok. Yeah, so you should check it out because... It'll be good. Because we want you to buy that and support B. Clay Moore and his friends. What uh, the... This, I, <laughs> I put a card in here because it's all porno art books. There's uh, the it's Nudist not... Girls of Germany. What? There's the Glamour Girls of Tokyo. There's the uh, Keith Garvey books, Sweet Things. Yes, and people. guilty pleasures. The, this is the order form, and this is this isn't even the adult version. No, there there is a PDF that you can get. Yeah, there's a PDF where you can order really adult stuff like Housewives at Play and Eros comics in general. Um, I like this T-shirt. It's a trap. Is that Al Williamson too? I think it's Al Williamson. Al Williamson. Al Williamson. But I, I like Admiral Akbar. So. Uh, Ghostbusters figures. I bet this guy never thought he was... Who would have ever thought they would have given this guy Peck. an action figure? Peck. Why? Uh, let me get some other stuff there. That's cool. Mad Hatter. Um, that's a cool Joker statue. That's pretty good. $250. I don't know if it's that good, but it's good. Um, I think that's it. I think that's everything I marked. Oh, there's a Miles Morales statue there. That I missed. I saw a Deadpool figure, too. There's Godzilla. There's Miles Morales. Yeah, and then there's... And Lady Loki. And Lady Loki. Hey, Lady Loki. And uh, there's Grodd. Boy, I missed a whole lot here at the end. I must have been talking to Nick while I was doing this. Mm. Leonidas. There's always a bunch of stuff at the bot back. Yep. Ask to see your store's previews. There's a lot of junk in the trunk here in the previews. Look, Daft Punk. Freddie Mercury. Boy, oh boy. One, One Punch, Punch Man. Man. Great and Zinger. And a Glory. Mecca Elvis. And hmm. a Glory. That's, that's not what, that's I, call what it. I call it. This is a stranger. Uh, Jesse Pinkman figure. Check out these. Uh, the 3A Studio. Yeah. So we got Ultraman. We got a uh, half naked girl uh, riding a flower. Uh, let's just say there's a lot of stuff back there. There's a lot of stuff. Sorry, I got distracted by the half naked girl riding the flower. But uh, that's everything. Uh, in Not next week, but the following week, Bill will be at uh, Cincinnati Comic Expo. Meanwhile, uh, we will also be set up at the Canton's Hall of Fame City Comic Con. So uh, you can check us out at either one of those locations. And uh, until next time, my friends, stay nerdy. Toodles! Bidi, bidi, bidi. No, I can't do it. <laughs>